Infrastructure management in Wind River Studio allows you to register, discover, and visualize existing distributed clouds and gives you the ability to provision new sites with just a few clicks. To demonstrate, we will discover an existing distributed cloud system controller, discover the subclouds currently managed by the system controller, and then provision and add a new subcloud. We'll use the Wind River Cloud Platform Blueprint to discover the system controller in Madrid. The task graph and the node instances show that the deployment has started and its progress. Going back to the dashboard, we see one deployment. The sites map now shows the system controller in Madrid. Going to environments, we see the location as Madrid and the install has succeeded. We are now going to discover the subclouds that are currently managed by the system controller in Madrid. To do so, we are going to execute a Starling X workflow called Discover and Deploy. We go back to the dashboard with the sites map. Wind River Studio is communicating with the Studio Cloud platform, the system controller, using the Studio Starling X plugin to retrieve the details of the managed subcloud. Four new pins have been added to the sites map. Those are the four subclouds that are currently managed by the Studio Cloud Platform System Controller, and the number of deployments has been updated to five. We will now provision a new subcloud in Barcelona. We click on Environments and we execute the Starling X Add Subclouds workflow. We see the yellow pin that means that the system controller is currently executing the workflow. A green pin has appeared which represents the new subcloud provisioned in Barcelona. Back to environments and sub-environments, we see the additional details about the subclouds, including the new one in Barcelona. We have shown how infrastructure management in Wind River Studio allows you to register, discover, and visualize existing distributed clouds, and gives you the ability to provision new sites with just a few clicks.